Welcome back. I'm Nick Allison Drini with DETV Sports. Some more shifts in the rankings this week, including some that won't take effect until next week. Plus, another number one goes down here in Delaware. But let's start with some matchups from Tuesday night. Number four, Howard, falling from that top spot last week, welcoming AI DuPont to the home of the Wildcats. Howard would get this one started right from the tip as Darius Brown wins it and tips it right to Demir Hollingsworth, who lays it in. Then tied at six early when the Wildcats with some beautiful passing finished off by a Hollinsworth again underneath. 10-6 on the inbound when RJ Matthews finds, guess who, Hollingsworth for the three in the corner. 13-6 Howard early and it would continue just that way. Matthews gets this one back from Richards Powell and he knocks down the triple. Then a little bit later on, Hollingsworth going to show off the passing ability here with a crisp feed inside to Marcus Johnson, who finishes underneath. Johnson had 10 in the contest. First half winding down when the Howard defense forces another turnover. Holland to a cutting Hollingsworth, and that's good. Howard up 45-23 at the break. To the fourth when Taji Jordan going to put that one back up and in for the Tigers. AI went on a little bit of a run late, but it wouldn't be enough. RJ Matthews caps the game off with a triple for the Howard Wildcats, and they get the win. 75-48 Hollingsworth and Darius Brown. They led the way for Howard with 14 and 13 apiece. Now on to our second matchup of the night, a big top 10 battle this time between Sally's and Middletown. Sally's jumped out to a very early double digit lead in the first, but the Middletown defense trying to get them back in it here. They get the steal. Tyron Henson all the way to the cup for two plus the foul. Then Jahia Eldridge gets inside and takes some contact, able to finish. Middletown cutting the lead. Then when Justin Mullen knocks down the three, 36-24 Sal's. Evan Sparks, nice feed inside, but what a block by Isaiah Hinson. Cavs would get it back. This time, Evan Sparks misses on the first shot, but able to clean it up himself. 40-31 when Justin Hines goes behind the back here all the way to the hoop for a tough two. 44-35. Third quarter winding down, Isaiah Hinson, a nice crossover, then pulls up from beyond the arc and hits. Sally's takes a 47-35 lead into the fourth. Cavs down 11 when Hinson gets his own miss, able to follow it up and one, but Sally's would answer. Sammy Walsh going to put it on the floor, gets it to go on the baseline. Middletown, one final push. They get the steal, but leads to a Jaden McGee three. He connects on that, but Justin Mullen just too much for Middletown, pulls up here, hits the deep three, then a little Euro inside, hangs and finishes off the glass. What a game for Mullen and the Sals. They get the win 66-58 in that top 10 matchup. Now we take a look at the Delaware Live Sports basketball rankings, starting with the boys after some great games last week. Sanford and Tower Hill, they continue to climb up the rankings. They sit at number two and number three. Dover, they were the top team this week, but as I alluded to earlier, they suffer a tough loss to Smyrna on Tuesday. That'll take effect in next week's rankings, but another number one goes down here this week. Howard, they fall from that one spot last week to four. Sally's, they work their way up to five, and William Penn falls to eight after the loss to Sally's last Saturday. Caravelle, they reel off a nice few wins last week, plus a big win Monday over at the time undefeated Woodbridge. That has the Bucks in the top 10 at number nine, with Smyrna rounding out the top 10 Again, with that big win over Dover on Tuesday. Big matchup on Friday night. Sally's will host Smyrna, and you can catch that one live at 7.30 p.m. on Delaware Live Sports. For the girls' rankings, not too much moving around from last week. The top eight is going to stay the same. St. George is moving up to the number eight spot from number 10. Delmarva Christian cracking the top 10 for the first time this season at number 10. Now we'll quickly take a look at the Delaware Live Sports wrestling rankings, both individual and team now on your screen, some shifts in a few weight classes, but the top fives in Division I and Division II, they remain the same. Big matchup, though, Saturday, Caesar Rodney. They're going to make the trip up to Wilmington to take on the Sals. That one expected to get started at 2.30 p.m. Now it's time for our, some top plays of the week coming at you right here on DETV. So getting us started at number five, we're going to head over to the wrestling mat. It's Gabe Gampetro going to lock up the cradle and get the pin, earning some bonus points for Smyrna. Here, Smyrna and Kay Penlopen, Gampetro up 2 nothing. going to lock it in, settle in, put those shoulder blades to the mat, pick up the pin. Big year for Gampetro. He's going to look to cap off with another state title. On to Smyrna, some more wrestling. Warren Croats going to get the reversal here, up 3-2. Going to roll right into it, a little bit of a Peterson here, and he's going to put him on the back and end up getting the finish. 
What a job there by Warren Coates. Back-to-back -back wrestling plays this week at five and four. Then Darnell Carter from Grand Oaks, or from Great Oaks Academy. You're gonna see him here underneath. Carter up with another dunk. He's had his fair share of dunks this season and another one this week here in the top 10. And then how about one more? Defense able to take it away right into his hands and he's gonna elevate and throw it down emphatically with the right hand. What a play there at number three. On to number two, Jaheim Harrell from Dover. Very impressive this season for the Senators. Here he is in transition, going to take off, and he throws it down with the right hand for the Senators. Big win over CR last week there. Then at number one, Jaden Guy to Jordan Moore. This is from the William Penn contest last weekend. Check out Guy, top of the key. Here comes a cutting Moore on the baseline. Catches it in the air, able to finish with two hands. And a big-time alley-oop as you check out the slow motion here at number one for this week. Special thanks to Delaware Live Sports for the top five.